good evening everybody and how is everybody doing this evening i am lampy 28 and tonight we have a special special cast going on tonight we have the one and only cynthia with us this evening co-casting <laughs> how are you cynthia good good and it's gonna be like an spanglish um yes. that's a perfect way of saying it perfect way of saying it no, no, we're yeah. really excited to have you on board, and we've got a few uh, uh, Spanish casts from you so far, and it's great to see you on the uh, on the other side, uh, kind of giving a little bit of both for us tonight. Um, we have Cataclysm tonight versus the Jaguars, and uh, looks like they are going to be jumping in here shortly, but first map is going to be Quarantine, and Cataclysm is home, so we will take a look at those bands real quick from both sides right here in the IVRL both teams get two bands apiece home gets to pick the very first band and then away picks two bands in a row and then home comes back and picks the final uh, fourth band and home gets to choose the first map so tonight on the bands uh, home cataclysm has decided to ban downfall and ban sand and then also uh, looking at the Jaguars bands, they have banned Bizarre and Subway. So very interesting bands. Um, Cataclysm deciding to take away, you know, one of the larger maps and Downfall, and then somewhat of a newer and custom map of Sand. Could be a little bit of unfamiliarity with it. Sand got a recent large update just a few months ago. It doubled in size, maybe even tripled in size. And it's new to a lot of people, and uh, a lot of guys and gals there out there don't want to risk some of their official league matches on a custom they're not too familiar with. And then coming back uh, with Jaguars bands of Bazaar and Subway, more of a you know medium-sized maps with a lot of corners and a lot of angles. Um, that's a lot of planning that's got to be done on those maps. So interesting to see. Um, but back to uh, back to the. Uh, scoreboard here and we will jump into the gameplay And Cataclysm, let's start with the lineup here. And lineup goes Hecklack, Blazer, Coach Kodith, Ricky Ticky Sticks, and Stubbs. And Cynthia, do you want to go through the Jaguars lineup with us? Yes, of course. So we have the cool name of Invictus Aztec. And then SWA, Senor Grey, Valencia, y Ken Ken Ken. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And how do we say the last one again? Ken. Just Ken. Ken, all right. Ken. All right, getting started. We got Ken starting off uh, with us over here. We got them on defense. Here. Can't get off of the first person point of view right now. Is it looks not? Like, no, looks like uh, Invictus got a blazer there. He doesn't seem to want to come off a first person point of view, so I apologize out there. Uh, but until then, we'll ride along a little bit here. See if I can. See if I jump out and jump back in. If that works, there we go. All right, that worked. Looks like Cataclysm is up 4v2 so far already. And last two objectives, hold the objective on SA way and Ken still back here in the south behind hospital and behind the sand dunes here. Looks like still four men up on the Cataclysm side. One down on the Jaguar here, Valencia still down, and we have Stubbs running with the shield. That is not a very big surprise. Stubbs is, you know, a very profound shield player and, you know, has been fighting to get that uh, shield back into the gameplay, which uh, has come in back into the IVRL. 
And the IVRL rules with the shield is you are allowed to hold the shield up, but you are not allowed to shoot while holding the shield. So you have to put it on your back or lay it completely down on the ground to uh, fire a weapon if you are going to roll with the shield. Now you can throw utility while you have the shield up, uh, but you are not allowed to fire a gun of any type. So Valencia, I guess, is being very quiet here because they don't know he's dead. And this is uh, one of the things, like, if they get to a certain point, they're gonna, Valencia's going to be able to give some call-outs. Smoke's coming out both from Stubbs, Ricky, and Hecklack, covering all angles around the hospital, um, giving these guys an opportunity to start pushing in and get another shot. They did finish Valencia there finally. He must have chattered a little bit, but still two and a great spot to hold the OBJ down. SA Way has got that nice line coming right across White Car. Nobody can cross this lane without him seeing it first. And uh, Ken has that, that southern push in the back, hiding behind that large rock. Uh, two good spots here to uh, hold the defense. Looks like Stubbs and Ricky have both moved into hospital. And it looks like Hecklack is going to make his way to cross the street here by the ambulance here shortly. Stubbs taking that higher elevation approach, looking down on objectives, seeing if he can find anybody. Great smokes out by Hecklack. Going to block part of SA's uh, line of view here. Coach Kodath has rotated all the way around through the rear of Sand Dudes and not seeing, oh, finally seeing Ken. And Ken. SA is taking shots back. It does not look, and Hecklack gets on the objective there, but shots come out from Coach Kodath, stopping that cap, but giving them <laughs> one point. Close. One point. <laughs> yeah, it's very close there. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Cataclysm going up, one nothing so far. Well, Kawade have lost their um, defense. Yes, that yeah, was a tough defense, and uh, didn't get quite get to see what happened in the beginning there, due to uh, I'm not able. My escape button doesn't seem to be working. Um, and I don't know if it's a computer glitch or it's the only button that doesn't seem to be working, but I can't get out a first person point of view. So that was tough. But uh, yeah, Coach Kodath held it down there with a the nice three kills on his side on the uh, offensive push and on defense. Those guys, they struggled a little bit. Um, you didn't quite get to see, but they had nice lines there at the end. It just um, Coach Kodath coming through the sand dunes there really distracted some of the players and it distracted SA Way there at the end and he wasn't able to see Hecklack cross to get to that objective either. Yeah, I noticed that, that kind of like SA Way was um, looking after Ken. Like as soon as Ken got killed, you know, he turned around and, and killed him. Exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. Nice to see. <laughs> it was. Yeah, I mean, you know, he was, he did the right thing. It's just reactionary. You know, you hear gunshots to one side of you, yeah. you're going to turn because yeah. SA was out here in the open. You know, I mean, he had really had no cover. So if he's hearing gunshots off to the side, you're, you are going to turn. It's just, it was good timing on the offense and, and not a lot that can be done otherwise. Uh huh. to try it's still not working <laughs> gotta go through the lobby but defensive wise ricky is taking uh hold up there in uh, hospital warehouse coach code is heading towards uh southeast dunes there hecklack up in the hospital stairway looking down towards the west uh and Stubbs is inside hospital blazer right in front by the uh, ambulance there so pretty meta defense uh, good spots all around. Nothing too crazy. We got Senior Gray and Victus pushing up on impacts here and by Broken Wing or uh, by airplane. 
we have three flanking way to the east. So SA, Ken, and Valencia all pushing far east are going to have to deal with Coach Kodith in that third story building there. Uh, three guys pushing this side should be able to, you know, get those kills, get that kill on them. And, uh, but it's going to be tough to see. Coach is tucked inside there in the stairway back and forth a little bit, getting some great angles. Pick this in gray moving forward here up onto center burning area. Nobody in center burning, so they should clear this out pretty easily. Yeah, he's under the highway. Uh, far east side, they must have one. Looks like Hecklack taking shots and finding SA way there in the east. Coach Coda. That was really far. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Coach Cotis has a nice line down towards Motel. Uh, so he, Ken's going to have to be Ken. careful. Yes. Ken. Yeah. Yes. Coach Cotis finding another yeah. one. Did find Ken there under the bridge. So now we only have Valencia that crossed. <laughs> yeah, Valencia got into tank courtyard here. He's in a good position, yeah. but he's a little bit. It's a little scary to come around this wall here because you know there's plenty of people out here looking. But nice shot from Invictus to kind of help clear that yeah. out. Now Valencia does have a nice uh, nice route to get through here. And we'll have to worry about Ricky. Ricky could be peeking through that window and the warehouse there. Invictus crosses the street. <laughs> Victor did get across the street. Hecklack did not yeah. spot him. Hecklack <laughs> rotated on the north of the oh, front. Valencia is crossing. <laughs> they are pushing. Will he oh, see Valencia is on the other side. Yeah. Valencia is on the other side. Yeah. yeah I'm trying to watch the east. And west. <laughs> oh, Ricky's going to get Valencia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's tough pushing down this street. You're, you're, you're in the wide open. Um, a lot of angles you can get you can get spotted from. And Victor's throwing out a smoke there on that side and rotating around the opposite way. And rotating, yeah. Yeah, and the coach is here. <laughs> Far but near. Yeah, he's got a great view. <laughs> yeah. Stubbs throwing out a grenade does not get him, though. is still being very quiet. I think Stubbs realizes he is out here, but not quite sure where he ended up after throwing that grenade. It did not connect. But it's just about being patient. Don't expose yourself. You have four players up. You got a great defense. You got a great hold. Senior Gray and Invictus last two up here. Nobody finding anybody. The defense is very tucked in. They're hiding very well. The idea is not to get picked off and not to die, um, obviously, but to die early like this with the 4v2. You don't want to give up your strength. So staying tucked in, watching your lines where you're supposed to be watching and not giving up any of those angles. Now, Stubbs is going to be peeking over this box here, and Invictus is going to have a tough time if he doesn't catch him first. Ooh, shots do come out. C4 went out but did not connect. Invictus did make it inside. I don't know if Stubbs saw him. Invictus might have a little bit of an upper hand here. Does see Stubbs. Did not connect. Stubbs taking fire. Invictus firing back. Oh, Stubbs did come out. Oh, no. Wow. Okay. Gray is outside. Yeah. And Hecklack fights Gray. Top of the roof. Okay. Tough time. 
Cool. Yeah, I mean, it was a good job there um, by Jaguars. It was a good push, and Invictus got inside the hospital there, just couldn't make the shots connect. Um, yeah. So, I mean, he did have the upper hand there, but Stubbs kept down really low, and he was able to, you know, stay low enough where he was just kind of head peeking it, and either you've had to hit that shot dead on, um, and unfortunately, Invictus did not get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I was impressed with the um, captain on the sand dunes. Straight away, he moved into the sand dunes. Yes, he did. And it's a great defensive spot, too. I mean, you get a look down back onto the objective there and all of that street, and you're pretty hidden for the most part. So it's a good spot to sit uh, as one player can. Uh, but you definitely don't want the offense taking that spot either because it plays into their favor. Okay. But he moved in when uh, he shot two two players mm -hmm. uh, from this side of the freeway. Or how do you call it? <laughs> we call it the freeway. The freeway. Oh, I mean, hey, if it works for you, everybody has their own call out. So, uh, are you talking um, so how do you the call it? Or in the middle? Are you talking the center? Not the freeway. No, right, you know, motel, oh, you know, yeah, right yeah. at the Okay, back. yeah, the freeway back here with the bridge, like the interstate. Yeah, yeah the, freeway. the bridge, the interstate. Yeah, no, I get it now. Yep, yeah, Coach Kodith was out there and he shot uh, those guys down to try to cross this way. You're right, yep. Yeah, and then after he did, he shot them. Um, he moved, yeah. Yep, and then he rotated back. Yeah, 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 he rotated. Yep. So the objective has moved, and we are now over here into center burning, where Invictus and Ken have taken residence there into center burning. Okay, so we'll go straight to the north. We got east, uh, the east spawn for the offense. We got two going to the north. Hecock and Blaze are gonna gonna veer off to the north. Coach Coda staying through the center there on container courtyard, and then Ricky has moved into the ball. And wow, Stubbs has made it all the way past the defense. He is on objective. Yep. Oh my Nobody God! Yeah, he stopped Valencia. What happened? Nobody saw Where's him Valencia? come through the basement. What? Nobody. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Is he gonna get this cap off? Nobody knows he's there. Yeah, yeah, yes, for sure, for sure. <laughs> Long cap. Oh, what's happening? Where's the cap timer? And Where is it? <laughs> oh my God! Much. Where? Where was Valencia? <gasps> oh. oh my God! <laughs> All right, no replay. Where was he? Where was he? Uh, he was he was inside the um the garage, wasn't he? He saw he was yes. inside the garage. Yeah, so they uh it looked like Stubbs ran into the uh the the basement of the mall, the parking garage there and came up through that hole in Tank Courtyard where the where the uh, crater hole is and he ran right up through there and right through the center and I believe the defensive guy, or whoever was running that defense right there, just ran right past Tank Courtyard. It was just a few seconds of difference there. Yeah. Um, wow, that was something else right there. That was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what a, uh, okay. you know, what a cap there by Stubbs. And just quick movements. I mean, it was very risky just running out in the open. Uh, you know, Stubbs came yeah, from in the basement here. And just ran right out and ran right across the street. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and on the left was Valencia. And yeah, yeah. I thought for a minute, oh yeah, he's gonna get, a, you know, like shot him from behind. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? <laughs> he just ran. <sighs> yeah. That Interesting. Was, that was definitely crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I would not have expected that at all. Um, I thought for sure someone was going to see him running across that street, but everybody was yeah. focused. You know, they were holding all their angles. You know, the yeah. defense there in center burning. They had two guys defensively in center burning, but they weren't watching. They weren't watching the way that Valencia and them were looking. They weren't expecting yeah. that. So. Yeah. And you can't run fast with the shield on. He had the shield on, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if the shield is on your back, I believe you're still at full speed. Um, as long as you're not holding it up in front of you, and which he wasn't, I don't think. Um, uh, 
Okay, okay, so okay. So it's still on your back. You know, I think uh, right it's still the same ah, speed. Okay. I don't know. I don't. I'm not a shield player. I haven't played with the shield, but from what I could tell, with when they're running, you know, with their teammates, as long as it's on their back, they all look to be going the same speed. So he put on the shield when he was on the, um, you know, on the hall coming out. He put on the shield. He did. I couldn't yeah. see. Him. I wasn't on him that quickly. But coach, yeah. yeah. Uh, Honestly, I don't know the speeds, but that would be something to definitely look into. Uh, you know, we got the same spawns here. Uh, Jaguars have pushed up on the east side and taken out Coach Code. It's right there in the mall. Invictus getting Blazer as well. So quickly, the Jaguars at the 5v3 so far here. Uh, Invictus has taken out that north, that north defense, and now they're going to have a great lineup here. Except for we got one on hospital. So Stubbs is on hospital, can see straight over to this rooftop. <laughs> So Invictus will have to be careful. And there it takes the shots of Stubbs, taking down Invictus. Still alive, so he can call that out, give that call out. Two into the mall, SA Way and Ken in the mall. Valencia coming around the south by the dunes here. May find Stubbs on the roof. Oh, no, he's tucked on the, on the other side, so won't have a view from him. Oh, Stubbs has an RPG. <laughs> Stubbs got that kill with a the pistol then. Because if you have the RPG, you only you don't get a rifle. So he got that got that kill on Invictus or that down with a pistol. So good shooting there by Stubbs. Oh, they found him. I'm going to go ahead and get down and come back to you. Nice shots by Senior Gray. Grenade coming out from SA Way onto center burning. Does not connect with anybody. Stubbs rotating down. But if Valencia finding Stubbs in the back. Nice shot. And Senior Gray getting that revive on Victus. So back up to 5v1 here. Oh. Black finding oh. SA Way. That was with um, C4? Uh, C it sounded like a grenade. Um, C4 usually has a little bit different sound, but he did get him with some type of explosive, so excellent job there. It might have been a C4. It's like somebody on Cataclysm might have dropped there as well, so 4v1 here. Valencia moving in on the rear. They can take their time. If they, they get the right angles, they might be able to get a cap off. He, if he's... Valencia's got a quiet. Oh, he got flashed by his teammate. Yeah. <laughs> so Valencia needs to take his time, and then he needs to creep up nice and slow, but does find the kill on Hecklack, giving Jaguars their first point tonight. Yeah. Let's see if the replay <laughs> works. Oh, there we go. Got replay. Excellent job there, by That was a really good round by the Jaguars. They uh, they surrounded, you know, they got wide. They got a couple went north, a couple went south, one went through the middle, and they just surrounded the objective and and just picked apart the off or the defense there. So excellent work. Um, who was at the at the roof of the hospital that you said that he was um with a pistol? Yeah, it was Stubbs. So. Stubbs took the loadout with an RPG, and if you take the RPG, you do not get a rifle. You only get a pistol. So the only way he was able to shoot that guy down from one rooftop to the other was with that uh, with that pistol. And that's why he only downed him and couldn't kill him, because it takes like eight, eight body shots or something, six or eight body shots to uh, to kill with that. He will the roof with with a pistol. <laughs> yeah, I mean he downed him, didn't get the kill, but did down him. Okay. Alright. 
So Jaguars gets that first round and maybe a little bit of, uh, you know, they get a little bit of momentum, a little happiness here and can, can send you their, uh, send you their street. All right. Uh... The objective does switch into the plane, into the fuselage of the plane. Looks like Senior Gray is going to stay close to OBJ with Ken. SA Way has gone into ground floor of Impact. Gray moved his way to the west side of the plane. Invictus up here on the uh, Volk Tower, Burning Tower here. Shots coming out. Afraid to get in first person view because I'm not sure if I can get out. But Coach Kodith and Ricky have taken over hospital, have cleared that out. Senior Gray with a nice spot back here in the far west on the HESCO is going to get a great view towards hospital and gas station. All the way out here in the east, we got two guys, Stubbs and Hecklack, sitting back here. Uh, can we get eyes on the plane wing? I don't have it two times. I can't really make up whether someone's there or not. Oh, he could be on burning shooting. Blazer, did you say burning? All right, I'm going to go. Wonder. We got some. We got a flank in the north. Valencia with a nice flank in the north, finding Blazer. Excellent job there. SA still has a good spot there on impact. Ken on uh, inside the fuselage there, taking a nice little prone view. And Senor Gray in the far west still, looking back at hospital and gas station. It's a good spot here. I like this spot. Great coverage. Nobody's really expecting you this far back. Looks like Ricky is going to try to push across this row, but Invictus is right there. View is just blocked by the white car. Oh, Ricky does find him. But Invictus does come out with a great shot on him, finding Coach Kodeth in that doorway, but cannot connect on those shots. Coach Kodeth rotating down to the lower basement or lower floor of hospital, going on to look for a different angle, try to confuse the defense a bit. Dark spot here by uh, Ken. That's <laughs> man. Can't even see. It. Like if I turned off the <laughs> turned off, that's that'd be a tough one. That's a tough spot right there. Running there blind, I'd be scared. <laughs> oh, Stubbs dropped. I was wondering why he was prone there for so long. Stubbs lost connection. And quickly down to a 3v2 in favor of the Jaguars here. So Valencia is far away and he's um, just injured. Nobody's going to rescue him. <laughs> he's too far. <laughs> is he down? Yeah, all the way there. He oh, was like... Yeah. He is too far away. There's nobody going to be able to get him. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I mean, he's just going to bleed out there in the middle of nowhere, die by himself. But <laughs> in case anybody does come around there, he'll be able to call him out. Maybe he can bribe the offense into reviving him. <laughs> Coach Kodeth making his way up here into center burning. Yeah, his head, head clerk, it crossed the street. Oh, they're too close now. <laughs> SA Way has spotted him, taking shots, does not connect. Yeah, definitely one in wing for you. Definitely one in wing for you. Ooh, is that a frag? Ooh, nice flash come out from Invictus. Like a sidearm throw right through the window. Very nice shot there. Necklock taking shots towards uh, plane. Does not connect with anybody. Invictus still 
becoming somewhat of a nuisance. Just just keeping these guys tucked into center burning, not able to come out of there, and they only got a minute left. So defense is doing a great job here. Uh, they're just holding these guys back. They're unable to push anywhere. We had another drop from Cataclysm. They are back in the lobby, which is good. Smoke it's away. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, he's gone from one side to the other. It's away. <laughs> he was on the other side. Oh, yeah. Senior Gray backing up Invictus, but does go down to Coach Coda, exposing himself too much. And can. And no, he's can, him. yeah. <laughs> In that dark spot, man. Wow, what a yeah. spot. Does surprise Hecklack there. I think Hecklack didn't even see him either. Coach Kodith making his move. He's only got 20 seconds left. His ad got a push. Does and push. They it. Jaguars coming out with the victory there. Very nice. Good, nice trade. Four to two. <laughs> wow, interesting. Really nice to see. It is. And everybody, you know, Jaguars had a tough time even after that cap. So, you know, on that cap from Stubbs earlier. That can do a lot of damage to you guys mentally, you know, in the game and make you feel, you know, out of it a bit. And but that that cap put them up four to nothing at the time. And Jaguars didn't quit. And then they've come back two unanswered points, only down by two on map one here. So four to two. Uh, still yeah. very much in the game. Hey, I want to ask you. So how would you say when a defense a moves to the other side, like what Valencia was doing, which is like going behind, you know, the, the, the Marsox. How do you call that move? Uh, be a flank. Beef. What? Flank. F L A N K. Flank. 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 Okay. We call him Rush Out. <laughs> a rush, rush Out? <laughs> rush Out. Yeah. yeah, but in Spanglish. We, we say <laughs> Spanglish rush, yeah. but in, in Spanish is uh -huh. rushar, okay. you know, because it's like correr, rushar. <laughs> so, right. yeah, I was just about to say Valencia is Russia. <laughs> no, <laughs> but, yeah. Hey, I mean, we're, we're not only speaking to, you know, we're, we're probably got all sorts of people watching and they will understand you. Even if I don't understand you, <laughs> it's okay. Say it anyway. I'm sure they'll understand you. But yeah, I mean, the majority of the time we call it a flank. They're flanking. Flank. Okay. Yeah. Flanking. Uh, okay. It's kind of a, uh, you know, I don't, I guess I don't know where it comes from, but the military and uh, people use it on, on the first person shooter games as far as like flanking from the edges. You know, you're, you're going to an unexpected spot and you're, you're attacking somebody from their side. Okay. But. You know, for Valencia to go all the way to the opposite side, it, you know, you can also say like, you know, a, a complete rotation. Um, so okay. that's another complete terminology. Rotation. Hecklack with a nice shot there, right down the center. Taking somebody out on that cross on that road. Victus has moved up to Tank Courtyard, looking towards the north, not quite spotting anybody up there. Coach Kodath has center burning, and Senior Gray takes down Blazer. We are quickly at a 4v4. Stubbs on the OBJ, right there where uh, Ken was earlier. Hecklack on the back. Uh, this little, like, porch area. Coda holding down center burning, looking over towards tank courtyard, not seeing anybody yet. Invictus has pushed up onto center burning. Stubbs with a nice grenade onto Ken. A nice grenade, yeah. Uh, oh, Invictus getting a grenade? No, it's just smoke. A couple smokes. Oh. oh. Blocking a great view, so not able, Stubbs not able to see much now. Invictus going to push into center burning here, but Coach Kodath is under the stairway in that dark little corner. I got a guy here in burning, guy here in burning. Invictus does hear him, calls him out. Coach Kodath is going to come out, try to find him, but Hecklack does catch him first. 
Valencia quietly making his way around gas station. Now, if he can get in the back of the plane, nobody's seeing him. He's going to do some damage here. Nobody's got eyes on him back here. It would be up to Coach Kodath, really, to peek this side. The gray is with a sniper on the bridge. Oh, is it? He likes to be sniper, yeah. Oh, Senor Gray is the sniper on that team? Yeah. <laughs> and he got a kill earlier, I believe, too. Yes, yes. Wow, Valencia taking a wide uh, rotation here all the way to the west. Yeah. So, so um, be a good move. Nobody's going to be expecting him way back here. Yeah, and I think Ken is giving some directions. Is she still alive? <laughs> up with him here shortly yeah ken is able to see a few things here you can see center burning and people on a plane possibly and senior gray has moved up to north roof look down my fine blazer gonna get blazer yep <laughs> oh no nice shot there okay. by gray Okay, now he has to move. <laughs> exactly. He's That's, moving. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as you take them shots, people know where you're at, right? So you gotta, you gotta yeah. rotate, pick a new spot. Yeah. And Valencia is, is, well, it's coming in. Everybody's looking this way, and no one's looking no. Valencia. Oh, maybe Rick. Oh, maybe Rick. Yeah, Valencia, he's got to be quiet here. Yeah. But now, Senor Gray is at the front. Yeah, Valencia, trying to remember the code, taking a look at it. <laughs> but, you know, even if he does make some noise, uh, the teammates may not think it's, you know, uh, they may think it's one of their own. Because he comes from an <laughs> angle that nobody's expecting. <laughs> Oh my god. I know what Valencia is feeling right now. I know, I know. <laughs> oh my god. It's yeah. so intense. It's so intense. It is. <laughs> Senior Gray moving <laughs> in and I'm not sure stuff no. in the exact same spot as Senior Gray is not hearing okay. or, uh Stubbs is not hearing Senior Gray. Yeah, because he just uh Valencia she just uh, nice made a shot. noise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I've missed it. I oh, missed it. oh, nice try. Yeah, but, but, but Senor Gray is going to get stumped. Yep. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, no. man. What a job. Oh, oh my God. Just, that was so close. That right was there. really good. It was really good. Oh, my God. <laughs> exciting. Very, very exciting. Yes. And that's going to conclude map one already on this uh, first first map our first of two maps here cataclysm winning map one five to two over the jaguars excellent work by both sides saw some great plays got that cap off by Stubbs earlier and um a little bit of shield play and some really good teamwork from both sides uh lots of flanking so very good stuff exciting to see what's going to happen on map two we don't know what map two is so we're going to send you off to a quick intermission while they re-host onto map two and uh, we will be back in just a minute.
Alright, welcome back everybody, and as you can tell, we are on map two of this great matchup so far this evening. Cataclysm versus Jaguars. Cataclysm coming victorious on map one. Quarantine five to two. And we are at Suburbia for map two. Yep. Suburbia is one of the um, favorites of SA Way. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, and SA Way is the captain. Captain um, Jaguars. Okay. Of the Jaguars, yeah, so. Yeah, so again, still the same lineup it looks like. We haven't lost anybody. Nobody has traded out. So we still have Invictus, S.A. Way, Ken, Valencia, and Senor Gray for the Jaguars. And for Cataclysm, Hecklack, Coach Codeth, Ricky, Tiki, Sticks, Blazer, and Stubbs. I would imagine Stubbs is a huge shield player, and I've seen him play it um, on downfall there. But downfall, it's tough to play the shield just because there's not a lot of close angles and alleys and stuff to go through. But I would imagine we are going to see some more shield play by Stubbs here. Well, I'm interested about that because <laughs> I want to be a shield player. You do? <laughs> yes. <Shield player> is <laughs> I'm a drone. <laughs> <laughs> I've got drone, okay. uh, shields, and sniper. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I'm not close encounter. <laughs> And every team needs those type of people, you know, the ones that are going to be that extra, uh, you know, extra type of utility uh, player, you know, support players. So we do have tank uh, objective there, APC objective on the center street. We've got a great defense coming out so far. Wow, what a grenade toss there by SA Way. Did not connect with anybody, though. Eklak and Stubbs in center burning. SA Way is going to try to push into, or not center burning, but center uh, building. Strong, lane one, lane two. is on the front porch. Backyard middle house. SA Way giving the sign that somebody is Backyard upstairs. Up, lane, one. lane one, lane two. <laughs> Pushing the front. Eklak getting Valencia and from the front porch. SA Way is up here with Stubbs. One down, ABC. And uh, SA Way does find Stubbs there. Great job. Great moving up lane one, two here. Looking, seeing Hecklack across into uh, lane three. Ricky Tiki oh, and you. Coach Coda still holding it down from Spawn House. And Blazer is down over there on lane four. <laughs> 2v2 <laughs> and coach Coda taking two down one in center house and one in lane one two there from spawn house nice <laughs> job by coach Coda. <laughs> okay yeah sometimes it's really quick get uh, matches isn't it here in yeah um, on the close okay. special yeah. suburbia it's gonna be it's going to be a quick match. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Wrong one. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Still getting used to all the new buttons. And yeah. That, <laughs> new uh, buttons. Arc, arc, <laughs> etch, uh, etch and Trip Nip have been working tirelessly on all the new buttons and features for this new casting deck, and it's amazing. I'm just still getting used to it. It's my first cast with the new buttons, so things are a little bit slower for me tonight. I uh, do apologize about that, but, yeah, uh, the new deck and what these guys have done for us has been amazing. So we thank Trip and we thank Etch for all the hard work they've been putting in. from this loud tank tank <laughs> yeah <laughs> so loud now do you play on a uh, a quest or what kind of what headset do you play on you see a quest but uh steam okay yeah. all right with steam do you use the the link cable or the air link yeah um the link 
Okay. But um, recently it's been not that good, so sometimes the Air Link. Yeah, so I'm the same way. I use the Quest as well. Uh, I've been using Air Link and have had great success with it lately, so uh, haven't had any problems. I tried the Link Cable for a while, and I was having some some weird shadows and lines in my headset, so I decided to go Air Link and haven't had any issues so far. It's got some pre-fire coming out from Cataclysm into lane three. Nobody going lane three way. Stubbs making a quick push up to bus along with Hecklack in lane four. SA way, great shot onto Blazer. And like you said, this is SA's map. He likes this map. So glad to see some good stuff coming out from him. Yes. And then we have that shield by Stubbs. So he's oh. able to... Uh, I better follow him. <laughs> to learn from him. <laughs> yeah, Stubbs is a very, okay. very good shield player. He's There's a there's a few people in the league that are very good, and Stubbs is up there on that list. Uh, okay. Coach I'm Cody following does him. Out, does take out SA Way there in the center. But what uh, I used to see Stubbs play and a couple of other people play when you were able to use the gun, um, he had a great flick. You could turn the shield to the side real quick and shoot. Um, and it was almost, it was very, very hard to stop. But now without the gun, it's a whole new perspective on things. You're not a lot of shoot, so you're information only, but you can have utility. So we'll see if he's got a, any kind of utility ready. He's got a flash, doesn't yeah. he? Lots of stuff He's going on here. Ken getting two in the, out the window here. Looks like Invictus taking down Hecklag. Stuff pushing along the fence line. Nobody seeing him yet. Nobody even trying to shoot at him. Didn't even need the shield so far. And yeah. utility does come out from Stubbs. Trying to throw inside the window, but throws on the roof. <laughs> Stubbs put the shield back. Valencia, oh, gets, oh, gets a TK no. on Ken. Oh, no. Bringing it to a 2v1. Stubbs, the only person left alive, could go for the revive on Hecklack if he wants to go around the... He's got plenty of time, over three and a half minutes, so he could make his way around. And Valencia is seeing Stubbs putting shots onto him. They are, it looks like they are going to try, Valencia is going to try to flank around. Yeah. Confirming Hecklack. Um. It looks like that's what Stubbs was doing, trying to work his way back around the building, but did lose his partner. Invictus has eyes on Valencia, but doesn't quite get him. Flash Don't kill out. Valencia. Oh, no, oh. Flash oh, no, 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 Valencia, watch out. He's got a gun. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, he gets a knife. Wow! Did not see it coming. No way! Backed himself <gasps> in a corner and pulled the oh knife out. Oh my god! This is so funny. Wow! Now he's Play. picking up his gun. He's picking up a uh, Valencia's gun. Yep. Yeah, he can he can use a gun, but he can't use it while he's holding it up. So. Uh, but still, big advantage there. What a play by Stubbs. The back in the corner and yeah. then pull out the knife at that last yeah. second. Yeah. <sighs> this is so intense. It is intense. <laughs> Getting down. The has got to hold this oh, down. No. He's going to leave the uh, shield there. No way. So this is tough because Invictus is not really in the best spot to protect it because you can get behind this tank right here and you can cap over here without anybody seeing you. But, I mean, you got to get to that point yet. So that's oh. why, yeah, Stubbs was not oh. expecting somebody to be up there. Excellent okay. job by okay. Invictus, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a tough one. Wow. Oh. <laughs> that was so funny with Valencia. <laughs> <laughs> that was something right there. <laughs> Oh. All right. Bringing our score tied up.
Well, they haven't lost their um, defense, which is what we always worry about when um, we are training. We say never, never lose the defense. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Uh, I mean, the play by Stubbs was was pretty, pretty cool there in the corner with the shield. I uh, felt like we missed some of the action in the center where there was a lot going on. Um, we weren't sure if Stubbs was going to get attacked by that shield. So we were hanging out on him, and then uh, I think it was Valencia was yeah. got the TK there in the center. That was that's that's rough too, you know. But you know, Jaguars did come out victorious there, taking down and holding down the defense on that. So excellent job, both sides. Okay, how do you call uh, where the objective is now? <laughs> How did you call that spot? Uh, let's see. Oh, this is playground. Playground. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to try something in Spanish? Sure. Hit me up. What do you got? La, la resbaladilla. Wow, I cannot. Say that. I can't even try. <laughs> Go slower with it. Try it again. That's all I have. I gotta try. La resbaladilla. La la resbaladilla. <laughs> Not even, yes. okay. Not even close. Not even close. Okay, so somebody told them where they <laughs> spawned. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lots of pre-fire coming out from the offense on the Jaguars, knowing that it is a quick spawn. And trade from Coach Coda then SA Way. SA Way still alive, could get revived here. Lots of utility come out. Smoke's coming out. Pre-fire, grenades. Victus pushing up hard here. Stubbs is in a great spot. Gotta be careful. Victus has gotta be careful crossing that. They need to look right. Let's do the objective. He's gonna pre fire. And oh no. C4 goes off by Stubbs. Valencia shoots Stubbs from the back and blows. Wow. Wow. That was a was lot so going on. Good. There. So good. <laughs> yeah, really able to get good. Three up, four kills and one replay. That's that a lot's going on at one time there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was good. The defense was really good. I really liked the way he was. Like, they were all surrounding the objective. You know, they were like none of them were like going behind the the other side or anything. They were just just surrounding. Yeah, protecting. With, exactly, yeah. <laughs> and with the, all the pre-fire that came out uh, early from, uh, from the Jaguars all down, you know, by the tank, you know, the defense couldn't push that side of the street at all anymore because of all that pre-fire oh, utility. Uh, so they did okay. have to stay tight, which ended up working out. Uh, right for them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. But with that, well, you know, with that quick spawn, you know, there's no real time because you know that they get, they're able to get there so fast that there's no real time either to, to make a quick flank or a big rotation. Uh, uh -huh. But yeah, great defense all together. Stubbs with a nice spot there holding that so-called finish line where they have to cross that, you know, that bushes there to get near the objective. Uh, but they picked up on him quickly and got that trade. So, you know, excellent work. Yeah. Good, near la resbaladilla. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I said earlier, but I was muted so you didn't hear it. <laughs> Playground. Okay, Playground. so yeah, we do have a little bit of an advantage uh, when you when we hear your call outs, but when you hear our call outs, no, that you won't understand us. No, I'll say we hardly anything. I know. <laughs> it's the same like playing with um the korean team the kfa team you know they oh yeah they, that would be cool to watch they uh yeah. you know obviously you're all speaking korean so you know they're right next to you and you don't know if they're calling you out or <laughs> what they're yeah. saying yeah uh no quick spawn yeah. on this one so they got the opposite spawn in the back far northeast west corner Coach Coda finding Valencia there at white car. Stubbs and Blazer coming through lane four here. Stubbs with the shield out. Going to give some okay. information. Blazer going to stay He's gonna behind. Try again. Okay, but SA Way is there. 
Invictus finding Ricky. Nice work. With a wide flank. To get. Big rotation here. Wow. Okay. Oh, stops. You can get behind a red car. Nice one, nice one. one lane one. Uh, two. Okay, now SFA is still looking for the shield on this side. <laughs> yep, sorry about that. I had oh, watch out. Oh! And Hecklock getting the revive on Ricky there in lane one. Still okay, so five. back to five. Back to five. Yeah, 5v2. Five Going to be tough here. Can yeah. in a really good spot to hold down that last person up type of spot. You can see pretty much all the uh, all the playground area, all the objective area. SA does need to be careful. Takes a nice shot on Hecklack there. Smoke's coming in. SA going to get taken down by Coach Kodeth. All down to Ken. Now they got a pretty accurate kill count. Now as they go for the cap or they go for the kill here, Stubbs is moving in. And Ken finding Blazer at the bus. And they know exactly where he's at. Coach Kodit's running in, getting that pre-fire, taking down Ken. Okay. <laughs> Bringing them up three to one here on map two. I would have, would have, this time I would have liked to see um, the use of the shield putting, you know, the cap. Yeah. <laughs> or how you call it, putting the, yep. cap, <laughs> the uplink. The uplink, yep. Um, yeah, it would have been nice too, you know, and Ken was focused on him. He was looking that way, but Coach Kodith knew exactly where those shots came from. And, uh, you know, I think they were just going to go with not, it sounded like they didn't have the correct kill count. They didn't know how many people were up. Okay. I heard someone say, I have three dead. So, uh -huh. you know, don't know if you got okay. one left or two left, obviously, at that point. So maybe, you know, they're just going for the kill, get the point, and be happy with that. And how will they? entertain Ken so they could have, you know, um, put the cap. How? How yeah, would they have uh, done possibly it? Possibly Stubbs had the shield out, right? So he could have just, you know, walked back and forth on the road over there, you know, and uh -huh. just, just distracted Ken and kept, uh -huh, kept uh -huh. him looking over that way. And uh, okay. Coach Kodeth maybe could have threw some more smoke um, onto uh -huh. the objective and, and uh, tried to cap. Uh, yeah. Not sure if Ken would have realized it or not. Yeah. I always find it interesting. How can you cap if you you know that there's one left over? You know, like one left. Like how how could you? What strategies would you do? You know, how would you not kill him? <laughs> I know. Yeah, it flashes. You know, smoking him out. Um, yeah. Or just have somebody distracting him. On one side. It's tough. You know, sometimes you even. Yeah, I've seen people try to do that and then end up losing because, yeah. you know, they get... It's risky. Yeah, it's risky. Sometimes you just got to go for that sure point, you know, get that one point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We got the red car objective this time. Gray putting down some pre-fire down lane three, not connecting with anybody. Pretty meta defense or similar defense here. Uh, two on the porches right by the objective and Stubbs taking spot into lane two, getting down by SA Way. Nice work. Coach Kodeth across the street behind the concrete. Pretty well known spot as well. Hard to deal with though. Valencia finding Blazer through the bush, getting the trade on him, but Blazer is still up. Gonna be able to get some call outs. Gray trying to push through lane three. Backing off just in time. Ricky blowing his C4. Does not connect either. Great work here by the Jaguars. Picking them off one at a time. Down to a 4v3. SA getting another Hecklack going. Taking down Ken. 3v3 here. Ricky finding SA way. Trying to come out of lane two there. Got Senior Gray, and who was it over here trying to creep across? Invictus trying to cross Invictus. the street. Yeah. Oh. And Gray and Ricky okay. trading. 
down to 1v2, all down to Invictus, and they do not know he's over here. And they don't know, yeah, yeah. they're not looking this way. He's pretty good, Invictus, huh? Really good player. <laughs> he can, he can. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him pull out some good shots. Uh, yeah. He, he's quite um, calm, you know. At this point, I think he has to just um, be very um, calm and yep. patient. Precise, patient, yeah. Yep. Patient. Yeah, he's got a lot of time, almost four minutes. Yep. You know, there's a yep. ton of time. The map is small. Yep. He yep. left his tablet, though, over here at White Car. He uh, put it okay. down, so... Um, if he plans on capping, he may want to come back for it. Can't send the uplink without it. Maybe he's just uh, worried about going for the kill. So interesting, isn't it? <laughs> it is, you know, from the caster spot. Um, uh, you get to see yeah. the way people yep. are reacting and thinking. I mean, obviously, everybody watching is as well, but, you know, not everybody watches every single cast that we do. So uh, I enjoy casting. I like to see how people react and think. And, uh, you know, we, we all learn every day new positions and new angles. And so I really enjoy it. But Evictus is going to leave his tablet. Because oh, he can see him, isn't it? He can. Oh, someone dropped. Oh, he's moved. Oh, he moved. Yeah, he dropped. He was trying he to just, get him. Yeah, he just dropped. <laughs> oh. That's. That's. He's still thing. looking for him. <laughs> well, he would have got him by now. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, this will have to. Okay. Uh, still deal with you know Hecklack on the porch there. Yep. Ooh, oh, laser did I, come think, across. I think you've seen Yeah, I think you've seen him. Oh, oh no. Yeah. 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 Oh, it was were. too close. Oh, okay. Very good try. Very good try. Uh, okay. I think Invictus would have been better off possibly going around the back side of the house. Around the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but it, it's kind of like weird because you saw him there and then he's not there. You know, and it says, I didn't shoot. Nobody exactly, yeah. shoot. I mean, you're dealing with that guy. You, you don't know if he ran to the back of the house, you know, and yeah, see yeah. Him. So, yeah. It's very possible. Yeah. Okay, so now. Yeah, we're down to uh, possibly the last point for Cataclysm, um, if they can come away with this one, but. You know, Jaguars, we've seen it on the last map. You know, they don't give up easily, so they can easily come back and get some more points here. Uh, they will be defending this time, so it gives them a little bit of an advantage. Yep. Still got the red car objective. The Datsun. <laughs> I don't know if you have that, <laughs> but it's the red Datsun and it's the gray Datsun. Over Is that there. how you guys say it? Yeah, the yeah. gray Datsun and the red Datsun. Yeah, all the cars <laughs> are the same, just different colors. <laughs> Datsun. The Datsun. <laughs> ah, you will know the middle one. The middle one you will know. It's easy. La Casa Grande. La Casa Grande? Yeah, yeah. big house. Big house, yeah. La Casa Grande. Mi casa tu casa. <laughs> yeah, mi casa casa. <laughs> I, know very, I know very little. I was in uh, Houston for five years, and, man, Spanish was like... The language, you know, the number one language there. Every place I went to, everybody spoke Spanish. Well, no prefire? Okay. Okay, follow Stub. Okay? <laughs> because he's my hero right now. <laughs> I want to get. Okay, so he runs with a shield on his back. He puts it on here. Oh, he's got yeah. Valencia again. He's got Valencia. 
Yeah, Valencia is well, one on one. Frag too far. Playground. Playground. Nice call out by Stubbs, calling playground. Ricky Sticks able to take out Valencia on that call out. And that's what's good about the shield is you can stay tucked behind, give out information, but you just got to understand where you're at and what uh, angles you could be killed from. So you don't want to turn too much one side or the other and realize that right. you, you know, left your whole side of your body open. Yep. So. Yes. Takes a lot of time. Yes. Ken staying down low here, trying to find a good angle onto Stubbs. And we've still got a 4v3. We've got some movement coming out on the uh, lane one side. Blazer trying to make his way across the street here. Doesn't look like anybody's really watching the street cross. We got everybody in the back, on the back side of the OBJ, which can be dangerous. You get enough smokes on this side of the street. Um, really hard time seeing and men making that push across the street. And Ken having a tough time with uh, Bla or with Stubbs here. Did an excellent job there throwing smoke and kind of blocking Stubbs' view. Laser finding gray. Lots of smokes coming out. All down to uh, Ken. They all know where he's at. All the lasers are focused on him. That's a tough one there for Ken. Okay. Three yeah. lasers. Oh my God. Yeah, she was just throwing, you know, smokes. Yes. And, you know, trying to get the uh, uh, the shield. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's another thing. Like, you know, uh, Stubbs didn't have to do much. He didn't have to, you know, shoot at him. He just had to keep him busy. Yep and call them out yep. and let the teammates take care of the rest. That's what I like, because yeah. I don't like killing my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Just it's love the, helping my friends to kill each game. other. It's but... the game. You got to. They'll come back next round, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what an exciting match. I mean, we had a very good match. We had some shield plays. We had some good, you know, utility toss coming out. And uh, overall, very fun. And it was nice having you here, uh, Cynthia, and appreciate you being here. No, it was really interesting. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, co-casting is just a different, you know, different thing. You can kind of relax a little bit and watch the, you know, watch the game. Oh, yeah. You don't have to yeah. worry about all of it. Um, yeah. And I, yes. I'm normally, you know, only do a lot of cast by myself. So I myself am learning when I co-cast as well. Uh, okay. <laughs> but very fun and again you know sorry for any technical issues that we may have had in the beginning i wasn't able to go to first person point of view and i apologize i know there wasn't much of that um but for some reason my escape button wasn't working on a brand new laptop so i don't know if it's the programming or if it's the the button itself but once i got into first person point of view i wasn't able to get out um very easily so do apologize on that but overall very fun match we appreciate y'all being here this evening hope you all had a great time congratulations to cataclysm one last time on that scoreboard and taking the total 10 to 3 here ivrl season one week number five cataclysm taking the match over jaguars any last words cynthia before we head out uh, well, no, that um, well, next time to watch uh, uh, any of the Latin teams, if I cast, it's going to be in Spanish. So, yeah, Cynthia <laughs> just does a lot remember. Of our, uh, Spanish teams, and she, will, she is the main caster for those. So, keep an eye out on the IVRL1, this uh, Twitch channel. Make sure you guys like this channel so you are notified when people go live. And look up IVRL number two channel on Twitch. Um, and like that one as well it doesn't cost you anything just a click of a button and that way you are staying up to date on when we go live and then on youtube as well look up ivrl all matches all casts are uploaded to our youtube and you can view them anytime from our youtube channel as well ivrl um, again want to thank you all for being here this evening i am lampy 28 cynthia with me here this evening have a good night and god bless you okay bye